and welcome to the Chibitronics channel. This is Sarah from Sarah Stamp and Retreat and I'm going to share a really fun Halloween card with you today. Using these Boo Ghosts from Whimsy Stamps and these white lights from Chibitronics. So I've got just a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white piece of cardstock and I'm just going to stamp on a fun little ghost scene. So I'm going to pop that one down there. And then I'm going to have the little boo. Now I think it'd be fun to have this one up here as well. So those are placeholders for our ghosts. But then I'm actually going to cut out some more ghosts and pop them up. So we're going to do some blending, but we can blend over this no problem. So I've got cracked pistachio and venomous potion distress oxide inks. And I've got this distressing in the chip sapphire. So I'll bring in some scrap paper and I'm going to take the cracked pistachio first and I'm just going to add that right around the ghosts. So then I'm going to add some villainous potion around that. I'm going to grab some of the chipped sapphire and just go right around the edges with it. And then I'll go back through the colours and kind of neaten it up a bit. So then I want my lights to shine through the ghosts. So I'm going to cut the ghosts out of this. Then I'm going to stamp and colour another set of images that eventually will stick over these ones. So I'm going to cut those out and I'm going to leave a little border around the outside. So now I want some splatters on my background. I want to do them in white paint so I'm putting a little bit of water on an acrylic block. I'm going to add a little paint on as well. I'm just going to mix them together. You do need it to be a bit kind of drippy because we want to splatter it. So then I'm going to grab a box and pop in my background and then I'm just going to flick some white splatter on there. And just adds a little bit of texture to the background. So then as that dries, I want to build my circuit to light up these ghosts. So I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm just going to add a dot to kind of the middle of each of the ghosts. And that's where my lights are going to go. So then you can see my lights are little triangles with a negative sign at the point and a positive sign at the flat bit. So I'm going to grab my stencil and I'm going to put it so that the dot is in the middle of this bit that's the same size as the lights. And then I'm going to draw through that so that I know where I want my lights to go. So I want them all to be up the same way. apart from this one at the top which I'm going to put upside down. So then I want my battery to go under this cauldron because then I can tell people to press the cauldron to light it up. I'll pop that inside the card. So if I just put a little mark here that's just at the bottom of this tail, I know it needs to go just under there. So I have one of these really useful battery holder packs and in there you get five battery holders, five switches, and some foam tape. So I'm going to pop my switch on just under here. So that will be where the cauldron will be. And then basically we're going to play dot to dot but with our fabric tape. And this is a conductive fabric tape. So I'm going to line up all of the positive bits first. So I'm going to come up the positive side of the battery holder down over the top and then if you remember the positive side of our lights is the flat bit so now what I'm going to do is just join up all of the flat bits of our lights so I'm going to go this way first so I'm going to chop that bit off and then 
I can join this piece onto this one and it will carry on that circuit so then I can just carry it on over here and then I'm going to go round the corner and round again to join on this one that's up here. So now we can just cut off the ends. So that's the dot to dot done from the positive side. So then we're going to do the negative side. So the important thing to remember is that you need to join up all the negative points. So we're going along the negative part of the battery holder and then up here. And the other thing that's important to note is that you can't let it touch the positive side. So we're going to go along here and we're going to join up all those negative pointy parts of the lights that we've drawn on here. And then we're going to go up here. We're not going to touch that positive part. And then we're going to come along here. And then we can chop that bit off. So I think that if you think of it as just a dot to dot where the lines can't cross, then it makes it really simple. So then let's go in with the LEDs. So let's remember that this is our negative part. So the negative is the pointy part. So we want to put it over those dots with the negative part on this side and the positive part on the other side of that tape. So it goes across the two pieces of tape. And then if you remember, we put this top one on upside down. So pointy bit goes downwards. So now we're going to add in our battery holder. And then we can add in our battery. So you can see those light up now. So now we can add on this, and we're going to add that on foam pads. So I can use some of this scrap to pop it off. And it's fine to go over the tape, just obviously not the lights. So then I can take the backing off my foam. And because I use the waste on my battery holders, I always seem to have quite a bit of foam tape left over that I can use on different projects. So then I'm going to pop this on here. You can see those light up when I press the cauldron here. So then I'm going to use this Hey Little Boo sentiment. And I'm going to heat emboss it onto some purple cardstock. Then I'm going to pop this up on foam tape. I'm going to add that to the bottom of my card. And I'm going to trim that little bit of excess off the back. So then I'm going to glue these on over the top of the other ones. I'm just going to add glue to make the cauldron and pieces that aren't the ghost. And then I'll just tack a tiny bit along the edge of the ghosts. Just because obviously the actual ghosts themselves aren't going to go on over anything. So then on this one, obviously I'll go over the hat and just round the outside down here just to keep it on. So then there's our fun little ghost card done. And if I press on this, you can see that they light up. So I've turned off the light so that you can see that a bit better. I think that looks really fun. So I really hope that you've enjoyed creating today's card with me. If you have, I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed on the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.